I do remember when the talk uh, around town, uh, when the new hospital started, and, and it was somewhat contentious uh, at the time, but that's what competition and, and growth is all about. There were two small city hospitals downtown Shawnee, and there were 13 physicians, predominantly uh, surgeons and specialists, that had this vision for creating a, quote, specialty hospital. When the hospital started out here then, it was a kind of an experiment, as I remember, a fairly risky venture. There were a lot of challenges. I mean, uh, first off, they had to fund it. There's no city funding, there's no tax subsidy. The new building that was built and completed in 1967 was funded entirely with tax-exempt bonds. And the only way they got those bonds was to pledge the revenue that would be billed from services. It was entirely self-sustaining. The physicians that formed the place thought they could make it go, and as it turns out, they were persistent enough to be right. The only thing that was in this part of Shawnee at that time was this hospital and OBU. We were out in, in rural Shawnee, and of course you can see today by driving around, it's really changed a lot. Interesting to, to look at these plans, uh, the original drawings for the core four-story tower and the, and the physician clinic, but I, th I think what I noticed the most about this is the names of the individuals that were involved in the development of the hospital. Physicians like Jerry Keithley, Jake Jones Jr., who's one of our pediatricians, and, and uh, Jody Edge, one of the original obstetricians uh, in the community, and Gus Goshaw, and Jim Loudon. Frank Howard's still with us today. John Rayleigh, who uh, Rayleigh Chapel is named for at OBU. And then, of course, Leon Noss, the man that was hired to put all this stuff together. These are the people that uh, they set the cornerstone for healthcare in the community. These guys did it on their own. And we had the same president for 25 years. And so you had that continuity of leadership at, at the time that Medicare was just beginning. So they set it up and they set it up right. And, and they just kept recruiting doctors. They kept bringing new physicians to the community. By and large, physicians come to this community and they stay here and they retire. When I came here 22 years ago, I looked at other similar size uh, towns. I won't mention any by name, but I was amazed how fragmented those towns were as far as their healthcare and the physicians. There's a lot of competition between them. There's a lot of turnover of the physicians. They come and stay for two or three years and then they, they move on. Here, I think because of the unique situation we have, um, they come and they stay. It's a neat atmosphere that you don't have in a lot of other places. We truly care and I think we take extra steps to provide exceptional care and not only to care for our patients, to care for the families and each other. I mean, this is my family. All these people are my family. Here at the clinic, we have a great group of doctors and we have great employees that care for our patients and give quality care to our patients. I just thank God every day for my patients. Some of them have grown to be almost like family. When I first came here, it was the clinic and the hospital at that time was Shawnee Regional. Um, there was a merger that happened with one of the other hospitals that was in town um, and the hospital became Unity and the other hospital was Mission Hill and they merged together. Uh, there had been two failed attempts before to put the two hospitals together uh, and they ended badly. We negotiated for almost 11 months to come up with a memorandum of understanding. Uh, and then it was probably another six months to come up with final documents. So it was a long, long road. We all knew that with the direction that healthcare was going, two hospitals would not survive in the community in the long term. Fortunately, over time, we were finally able to sit down at the table and say, what's in the best interest of the community and not the hospitals? And that was to have one strong, integrated healthcare system. People first. We recognize that exceptional health care begins with employees and physicians who feel valued. Unity Health Center's clinical excellence and compassionate care will make us the model for improving health care practices throughout the region. As a result, we will experience unparalleled growth in the number of patients we serve and the services we offer. We believe in Unity.
We merged the hospitals together in 2000, and as a result of that merger, we became affiliated with St. Anthony Hospital. About a year ago, after the passage of health care reform, the Unity Board began seriously discussing the difficulties smaller hospitals were having to stay independent without the support of a larger system or organization. We heard expert after expert after expert describe the challenges that smaller hospitals would be facing. It can be a lonely world out there if you're just a, a standalone, not-for-profit hospital with, with no other sources of support. In 2011, we made the decision it was time to create a stronger partnership and that we needed to be a part of something much bigger than we were. And so we initiated conversations with uh, leadership at St. Anthony and SSM Health in St. Louis and talked about what would a full uh, acquisition look like. What a privilege it is to be here today for what is and promises to be remembered as a very important day not only for the city of Shawnee but for residents and communities and rural areas throughout Pottawatomie County and surrounding communities as well. Today begins a very new time for Shawnee and for SSM. We are bringing together two organizations who share a common value and a common commitment to improve the health care of the communities that we serve. On behalf of the medical staff, I would like to express our excitement and enthusiasm about this expansion and extension of our relationship with St. Anthony's and share with you a little bit about uh, what this has done for us as physicians and how it has enabled us to uh, step up the level of care that we provide for our patients. We have had a relationship with St. Anthony's, we've described it on a number of occasions as dating and hand-holding now for over 10 years and, and we've come to know them very well. Over that time frame a number of programs have been developed and implemented that have really augmented um, and improved the level of care that we provide here in Shawnee. I am happy to announce today that we have reached an agreement. As a result, we have agreed to sell the assets of Unity Health Center to SSM Healthcare, and we will formally become a part of the system effective June 29, 2012. We know and believe strongly that the health care in our community will continue to grow and to be enhanced in ways that possibly even we can't imagine. I've been fortunate to serve in leadership both at the clinic as well as the hospital. I was actually um, serving on the hospital board at the time that we made the decision from the hospital standpoint to join um, SSM and become one. I had served on the hospital board with other members of SSM and so that was a very easy transition for the hospital. The clinic that was kind of different. We were a very profitable clinic. We had a lot of specialty services as well as primary care services and so the leadership interviewed several different um, major hospital organizations and elected to go um, with the same group that the hospital did, which I think was a win for our community. I think to disalign the two groups would have been a disservice to our patients and to our community, and so I'm very pleased with the decision that we made to all stay together. The proceeds from the acquisition stayed with the operating board, which was converted into a private foundation, and as such has assets now that are dedicated solely to the communities of the area to promote health and wellness. There's not another community in Oklahoma that has a foundation like that. So Shawnee has the best of both worlds as a result of what has happened to this hospital over 50 years. They've got a great hospital, a great facility, and a hundred million dollar foundation dedicated to health and wellness in the community. It's a win-win. We just finished, in May of 16, the largest building project that's ever been undertaken. It was a little over $55 million, 130 some odd thousand square feet, new intensive care, new labor and delivery, new surgery, uh, and then a number of other renovated areas in the hospital. Forward thinkers in 67, forward thinkers today, a facility that literally you would visualize that could be anywhere in any metropolitan market across the country. 
This is the building that will carry us into the next 50 years of healthcare, something to be proud of. While the buildings are important, and, and I don't want to understate that, uh, to me the buildings are now just a reflection of the capabilities of the staff. We now give them the tools and give them the environments to work in that are truly reflective of their capabilities. I think if you look through the years and we've had different names, I mean I grew up as a kid here and we were Shawnee Medical Center and then when I came back to practice medicine we were Unity Health Center. Now we're St. Anthony Shawnee. It doesn't matter what our name is, you can call us whatever you want to call us. Our leadership has stayed consistent, our care for our patients has stayed consistent. Um, all the name is, is something on the building. But what we do and serve our patients has not changed. Being a Shawnee native, I've watched our health care grow through the years. and. Uh, as a gray hair looking back, you see that persistence has been rewarded and you take for granted all the turns and twists that occur along the path. And, uh, and you know that persistence and, and good mission and good people and good services uh, will ultimately be rewarded and, and St. Anthony says is proof of that here when we didn't even have a mall. Like we didn't have the kind of services that we offer now in our community. And so Shawnee's continuing to grow and expand and offer more things. And I think our hospital's continuing to grow and expand. So many times people think the experts 30 miles down the road and that the bigger the hospital, the better the care. And, and I think we have proven over and over again, it's not the size of the hospital, it's the quality of the people. On a personal note, I would, I would like to say that I am very, very proud to be a physician in this hospital and in this community. And I am immensely proud of the physicians that I work with. They are good people. They are compassionate, they are caring, and in my opinion, they provide excellent care. It is because of them and because of our relationship with St. Anthony's that I am able to say with confidence to my neighbors, my friends, and to the people of this community, you do not have to go to Midwest City, or Oklahoma City, or Norman, Edmond, or anywhere else to get good care. You have excellent care right here. Some of the founding doctors that started this clinic, Dr. Keith Lee, Dr. Goshaw, Dr. Loudon, Dr. Hayes, I think they would all be very proud of the hospital and clinic that we have today. I bet that they would not have imagined that we would be here 50 years later with this thriving healthcare community that we have. Our staff here really are a family and we all do it together and I think that is the one thing that is always going to stay the same. I've been here 44 years. This clinic is almost like my life. I've been here forever and it just I'm just proud to be here at St. Anthony's Physician Shawnee. It becomes easy to get, you know, a little bit emotional when you think about all the lives that have been touched over the last 50 years that have gone through this building. I just think it's amazing what we've done in the last 50 years. And so to me, I'm in awe of what are we going to do in the next 50 years? I think that as we continue to grow, I think that only better things are ahead for our community.